think we should just be listening. So, forgive us.
What time is it?
Welcome, everyone. I've been told that the graduates are now all lined up and eagerly awaiting their entrance. So if you could just kindly find your seats, we'll begin in just a couple of moments. Thanks. Okay. Well, good afternoon, distinguished guests, families, and friends. My name is Scott Harris. I'm the registrar here at Camosun College, and it is my great pleasure to welcome you to Camosun College's convocation ceremony for both the School of Arts and Science and the School of Trades and Technology graduating class of 2023. I'd like to thank our music program students, Eli Breitenstein, Essencia Leandro, and Connor Wellman of the Victoria Conservatory of Music for joining us and playing such lovely music today. Thank you very much. So in just a few moments, the procession will begin entering the room from the, the back doors there, beginning with members of the dais party, that's the folks that'll sit up here, uh, followed by faculty and chairs who will sit just a little further downstage, and then of course, most importantly, our graduates. And so please uh, join me in standing as our drummers, Scott Sam and Brendan George of the Sartlip Nation lead the procession. Drummers. Yep.
Thank you, drummers. Please remain standing. <laughs> I'd, li I'd like to invite uh, Aidan Holt, another Camosun uh, music program student at the Victoria Conservatory of Music, to lead us in the singing of O Canada. Thank you very much, Aiden. Please, everyone, be seated. We would now like to respectfully acknowledge the Wasanich and the Lekwungen speaking peoples, and it's my honor to invite Dr. Skip Dick of the Songhees Nation to bring a welcome to these traditional territories. Skip. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We'll try again. Good afternoon. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> My dear friends, it's just about time for the tide to come in so that the breeze should be coming along too. <laughs> but anyway, we're so lucky we don't have that smog that's going on all across the nation. It's so devastating. But um, I only got two hours here, so I'll take my time. <laughs> my dear friends, my traditional name is Lechichalak, a name that was given to me by my family, so I know where I belong, and I know my family, and I know where my land is. But the thing like your, your own name is that I can go anywhere in the world, and I know I belong somewhere and I can pass that name on down to my grandchildren. But anyway, the um, first thing I would like to do is make sure that I acknowledge our institution, Camosun, for allowing the welcome to happen. In our way, it's been happening all up and down the coast, looking after the sometimes the guests, and then making sure that 
their songs that they're singing isn't a war song or a peaceful song. And most always it's a peaceful song today. In contemporary times, the young people that come and land in our territory are sharing that awesome thing called knowledge in a real good way. There's so much sharing going on with the institution, but also with the families. That unconditional caring and love from the families to our young people, the students, who've been successful today. I just want to make sure that I say that um, it's really important that what we do is um, it's not, our drummers are not just making noise, but they're, they're singing special songs because when our young people leave home, we have a celebration. And when they come home, we have a celebration. It's that part of sharing and caring so that our young people really know where they belong. But anyway, with that, I really want to extend my appreciation again to the Camosun and all the staff on the frontline workers who never really see the end results that I have the opportunity to see. And I really appreciate it. Um, and like I said, I only got two hours, so I'll, I'll make a shot. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My dear friends, please have a real wonderful afternoon. It's been so, so grateful to what's happening. I just have a hard time containing myself. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Thank you, Skip. Thank you for your warm words of welcome and you honor us with your presence. Thank you. So as you've seen, we have a lot of the pomp and circumstance that you would expect to see at a graduation from a college or a university. We have the gowns, we have the caps. Some of us are wearing these funny looking academic hoods. We've got the beautiful music and the drummers and of course the welcome from Dr. Skip Dick. Today is first and foremost though a celebration about all of you, right? And a celebration of your accomplishments. And Camosun really likes to do convocation a little bit differently. We really value noise and celebration of one another. So if, you know, I'm sure there's some of you who are celebrating no more tuition payments and you're, you're glad that that's over. But if you wanna celebrate a graduate amongst yourselves as peers and also family and friends, please don't hold back and we'll be up here on stage cheering loudly right along with you. And with that, I'm going to now turn it over to your Master of Ceremonies for this afternoon, our Vice President Education, John Boris. You know, it never fails to kind of thrill the, the excitement of a group of students graduating with their family and friends here to cheer them on. It's a lovely sight from up here, so thanks for that. We're thrilled to have all of you here, and of course, my name is John Boris. I'm the Vice President of Education here at the college, and uh, I think I have the best job in the world because this is part of it. I do want to take a moment to express my really heartfelt gratitude to Skip Dick, Dr. Skip Dick. Um, he has been associated with the college now for more than 50 years, and he has been an employee and now acts as an elder to guide us on the journey that includes truth and reconciliation with Indigenous people, but he also is someone who cares deeply about all our students and the people who work here and helps guide us in a way that makes us a better institution. So we have certainly a debt of gratitude to him for all of the advice and guidance he's provided. We have um, at the college, uh, we have uh, a number of people up here on the dais that I want to introduce all of you to. Um, you've met Scott Harris, um, our registrar. Next to Scott is Mont Dr. Monty Bryant, who is chair of the College Board of Governors. Next to Monty is Dr. Lane Trotter, who is president of the college. I, I'm assuming he was making funny faces behind me or something. 
<laughs> He's a troublemaker. Uh, Jesse Nikoi, uh, who is here as a graduating external executive with the Camosun College Student Society. And I should um, let everybody know that as soon as she's done her words, she's going to run down and join the graduating class because she's graduating today as well. So. Debbie Lady is next to her. She is Dean of the School of Arts and Science. Dr. Nasser Khalifa next to her is the Associate Dean of the School of Arts and Science. And then we have Eric Sain, Dean of the School of Trades and Technology, and the Associate Dean for Trades and Technology, Ken Kosick. So welcome all of you fine people. Then just down uh, of the dais are uh, some of the representative faculty who've joined us to celebrate our students. And we'll have a few more chances to thank and celebrate them. But I really do want to highlight that these faculty are here because they want to be the ones able to really fuss over the students as they cross the stage and, and uh, um, take part in celebrating the accomplishments of all of you as students. So some friendly fo faces for all of you to see as you're crossing the stage. Um, we also have several uh, uh, special guests here today. Um, uh, we have members of the Camosun College Student Society, uh, Michelle Turcott and Christine Desrochers. Uh, we have um, Lindsay Cairns, a member of our Board of Governors. We have a counsel counselor, Duncan Cavins, and we also have um, an award winner, Neil Klompus, and his wife and parents, who uh, were thrilled are here as well. And I hope I haven't missed anybody in that list and that I've got everybody right. Um, so we're certainly appreciative that you're here to help us celebrate. Now, there are a few things I want you to be aware of as we make our way through today's ceremony. Um, we really ask that all of us uh, stay through the end of the ceremony because we want to be sure the last graduate to cross the stage gets just as fine a treatment as the first. So that's something we really appreciate. And um, we also will let you know that at the end of the ceremony, just because we um, uh, now have m many different ceremonies, we have a video that sort of get, lets you get to know a few of the students from schools that aren't represented here today. Um, for friends and family who were unable to attend, we are uh, live streaming today's event. And for me, this is always quite lovely because we have had um, families up in the Northwest Territories watching their, their, their kids and loved ones crossing the stage. We've had family in India and uh, the Philippines, uh, many places around the globe. So just uh, maybe give all those people who are watching from away a bit of a, a wave because we love having them with us as well. One last request, um, turn off your cell phones, make them silent if you can. And with that, I'll move on and introduce our lovely board chair, Dr. Monty Bryant, to bring greetings on behalf of the board and on behalf of the Honorable Selena Robinson, Minister of Post-Secondary Education and Future Skills. Monty. Thank you, John. Good afternoon, everyone, distinguished guests, honored faculty, staff, and graduates of the Camosun class of 2023. I'd like to give a little additional shout out to another board member here today. Um, she does a lot of work with women in trades, and she has her Red Seal Electrical, Lindsay Cairns. On behalf of the Camosun College Board of Governors, it is an honor for me to be here to celebrate a momentous occasion and to recognize the outstanding achievements of each and every one of you. Equipped with the knowledge and skills gained during your time at Camosun, I have no doubt that success awaits you. You are the leaders, innovators, and change makers of tomorrow, and the world eagerly awaits your contributions. Your time at Camosun has been shaped by the dedicated faculty and staff who have each helped you along your journey. They've been your mentors, 
challenging you to think critically, encouraging you to explore new horizons, and giving you the skills needed to take the next step. We hope that you will remember these skills and lessons and apply them as you pursue your goals, whether you're entering the workforce, starting a new career, furthering post-secondary, or even continuing your studies here. Please stay connected and know you will always have a place at Camosun. The Camosun Board of Governors wishes you all the best. Congratulations, graduates. And now I'm pleased to introduce a special video message from the Honourable Selena Robinson, Minister of Post-Secondary Education and Future Skills. Thank you. Hello, I'm Selena Robinson, Minister of Post-Secondary Education and Future Skills. I'd like to acknowledge that I'm speaking to you from the territory of the Coast Salish peoples, in particular the Quiquetlam First Nation. On behalf of Premier David Eby and the Government of British Columbia, a big congratulations on your graduation from Camosun College. This is an incredible accomplishment and you should be very proud of the work that you've done to reach this moment. Your graduation means that you can take your experiences, your education, your friendships, and your determination to make a positive difference for yourself, your family, and your community. Camosun College is renowned for its focus on preparing students for the changing world and providing practical hands-on education and training that will be invaluable to you and the skills that employers are needing in our growing economy. As graduates of Camosun College, you have equipped yourselves to continue your studies or secure rewarding jobs in the field of your choosing. This is an incredible time to enter the workforce with opportunities in a wide range of sectors. Over the next decade, we are expecting over 1 million new job openings in BC, and 80% of these jobs will require post-secondary education or skills training. You are in a great position to take advantage of the world of opportunities there are for people in British Columbia. I wish you all the very best as you pursue your dreams and make big things happen. When you cross the stage, remember to be proud of what you've accomplished. Congratulations once again, and good luck to all of you. Thanks very much, Monty, and to Minister Robinson for their words of encouragement and congratulation today. I now have the privilege of inviting Camosun College President Dr. Lane Trotter to the podium to say a few words on behalf of the college. Please help me welcome Dr. Trotter. vertically enhanced. <laughs> so good afternoon, graduates, families, friends, honored guests, faculty, and staff. Today is a day of celebration and triumph as we come together to honor you, our outstanding graduates, for your accomplishments. On behalf of the entire college community, congratulations to each and every one of you for achieving this milestone, we're so proud of you. As we gather here today to celebrate the achievements of our graduates, I'd like to highlight those who've been instrumental in getting them where they are today. And on behalf of the entire college community, I want to thank those who have lent support and helped them get to this point and this finish line. Thank you to the faculty and staff of Camosun College who have helped shape the future of our graduates through their dedication to their education and success. Perhaps you could join me in applause for our faculty. We also want to thank the Camosun College Foundation and the generous members of our community who have contributed to establish scholarships and bursaries. Their support has been pivotal in making this a this day a reality for so many students. We must also acknowledge the personal support networks of each of today's graduates, whether it is the uplifting presence of family members, the understanding and love from spouses and partners, the unwavering encouragement of parents, or the support and dedication of friends. 
Each of these individuals have played an invaluable role in shaping the success of our graduates. So once again, let's all come together for a round of applause to those who have helped our students be here today. Thank you. Graduates, as you begin the next stage on your journey, you carry with you not only the skills and expertise gained at Camosun, but also the invaluable relationships developed during your time here. Embrace the opportunities that await you with confidence, knowing that you have the power to make a meaningful impact and difference. In this rapidly evolving world, innovation and adaptability are key. Continue to nurture your curiosity, embrace lifelong learning, and remain open to new perspectives. Your education at Camosun has equipped you with the tools to navigate the complexities of the modern world and contribute to building a brighter future for each person in our society. At Camosun College, we believe in the power of doing good work together. We know, the, we know that the impact we create is not only dependent on the efforts of our institution, but on the collective dedication of our alumni as well. Congratulations to you, Camosun College graduates. As you join the esteemed community of over 70,000 Camosun alumni, one of whom is here today, know that your hard work has positioned you to make meaningful and impactful contributions in your respectful fields. On behalf of the college community, again, congratulations. We are so excited and honored to have been part of your amazing journey. Go out there and make yourself and the world proud. Now it is my pleasure to ask Jesse Nikoi, the graduating external executive representative from the Camosun College Student Society, to say a few words on behalf of the Student Society. And just to reiterate, Jesse will also be graduating today and will be joining her classmates after she makes her remarks. So if you see her sprint that way, that's why. <laughs> Jesse. Thank you, Dr. Trotter. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. <laughs> I'm happy to be here and speak to everyone on behalf of the Camosun College Student Society. Today's an incredible day of celebration, achievement, and excitement. I'm so proud to be able to stand here today with you all to commemorate the long-awaited completion of our credentials. During our time at Camosun, we didn't just gain knowledge and skills to pursue what we want, we also grew as people. For many of us in this room graduating, we started during COVID and it was online, so it was nice and it's, like, it's exciting to be here and actually sit and cross the stage today. The friendships we've built along the way and the support we've been given and received from one another and the guidance from Camosun staff and faculty have all been a huge part of our success. Today, as we celebrate our achievements, let's also recognize the responsibility that comes with our education. We've been equipped with knowledge, skills, and a sense of social consciousness. It's our duty to go out there and make a positive impact in the world, whether it's through further education, joining the workforce, or contributing to our communities in meaningful ways. Let's always remember the values of empathy, compassion, and collaboration. Before we get to the exciting part, and we all, including myself, get to finally cross the stage, I want to thank on behalf of the Camosun class of 2023, all the incredible faculty and staff who have helped us get here. And I want all the grads to give a round of applause to our faculty for all they've done for us throughout the years. They supported, challenged, and believed in us, and for that, we are all grateful. Remember that life is a journey and try to enjoy it. Take risks, explore, but remember to stay true to yourself. Congratulations to the class of 2023, and thank you for being here. Thank you, Jesse, and uh, we do look forward to cheering you as you cross the stage. 
Now it's time for our, our award presentation for this afternoon, and I'd like to ask Lane to return to the podium to present the Camosun College Distinguished Alumni Award for 2023. Lane. Thank you, John. The annual Distinguished Alumni Award honors alumni who have graduated more than 10 years ago and who have demonstrated outstanding service and achievement in their field, in the community. The recipient of the 2023 Camosun College Distinguished Alumni Award is Neil Klumpus. Neil, can I ask you to come and join us on stage? So while Neil's coming up, I'd like to start with a couple of, a little bit of background about about our uh, outstanding alumni winner. And Neil, right here, please. We had some other people back there. We want you front and center, please, right, right here. You. Thank you so much. So Neil graduated in 1999 from Camosun College, receiving his diploma in applied chemistry and biochemistry. Neil told us that his experience at Camosun was instrumental in shaping his career trajectory and instilled in him not only a love of science, but also the values of excellence, collaboration, and innovation. In fact, three years after graduating, he was a co-recipient of Camosun's inaugural Promising Alumni Award in 2002. And we're so happy to have you back to celebrate the incredible career accomplishments you have achieved since then. After Camosun, Neil continued his studies at the University of British Columbia, earning a Bachelor of Science undergraduate degree in microbiology and immunology. Wow. With a passion for science and an interest in business and finance, he, compl he complemented his scientific education with courses in commerce and accounting. Neil later joined a global accounting and professional services firm where he earned his chartered accountant designation. Wow, again. Working first in Canada and subsequently in the US, he made significant contribution to the firm's life sciences practices through supporting emerging startups, bridging the gap between science and business, and advising his clients on a range of transactions. In 2007, Neil embarked on a new journey as the first chief financial officer at Zymeworks, a startup dedicated to developing next generation antibody-based therapeutics for the treatment of cancer. His strategic and financial leadership played a pivotal role in the company's growth, driving it to become a global leader in this field. Neil currently serves as Zymeworks President and Chief Operating Officer, and alongside his professional accomplishment, Neil has actively served on the boards of directors of both public and private corporations and nonprofits and has generously shared his expertise by mentoring young professionals, including serving on Camosun's Faculty Advisory Board for Applied Chemistry and Biotechnology. Congratulations, Neil, on your amazing accomplishments. You are a very deserving recipient of this year's Distinguished Alumni Award. And to you, our graduates, this can be you. Work hard. Achieve great things make a difference in the world. So with that, we have something to share with you. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk over to the other square. This becomes important later. This is called foreshadowing, graduates. So Neil, <laughs> if we'll follow you, we have a photographer right up here. And now over to you. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Schroeder, thank you very much for those kind words. Uh, to the Board of Governors and the Selection uh, Committee for this year's Distinguished Alumni Award, thank you for your consideration. With over 50 years of amazing graduates and a ton of great achievements under those graduates' belt, it's truly an honor to be selected and presented with this award today. 
To my wife, who has been my rock through this entire process, none of my accomplishments would be possible without you by my side. To my parents, thank you for imbuing me with the desire to achieve excellence and a passion to never quit. To the faculty and staff, both past and present, thank you for imbuing me with a love of science and biotechnology, which has served me well to this day and continues to drive me forward as our company and myself focuses on bettering human health globally uh, through achieving breakthroughs with science and technology. To the graduating class of Camosun 2023, believe it or not, I remember sitting in the crowd where you are today uh, back in 1999. And I remember listening to the person who received an award that year. I believe he was a vice president of Coast Capital Savings. I remember it that well. And I remember thinking to myself, that will be me. Go figure. <laughs> um, I thought to myself then it would be great to pass on a few nuggets of wisdom, and given the constraints of time, we'll limit that to two today. So here goes. One, follow your passions. Be true to them and go wherever they take you. But it will be critical to let your passions guide you. Because as you enter the workforce, work, and trust me, work will always be work. Timelines will be too short. Resources will be too few, and your stakeholders, be they clients, customers, constituents, or those you care for, will always have a unique perspective that will push and challenge you. But if you have followed your passions, you'll still have fun. Second, go all in in everything you do. Having had the opportunity to look back on my career to date, yes, with the benefit of hindsight, I would make tactical differences. I think every single one of us would. But the ability to look back and say, I have given it my all every single day. I have left it all in the field, on the boardroom table. Nobody can take that away from you. And you will look back on your careers with zero regrets. This I promise you. So the graduating class of 2023 of Camosun, go forth, it's your turn. Congratulations, Neil, and, and I can't resist commenting that Mothers never stop being mothers, do they? But we have a very proud mom in the front row who was taking pictures and beaming the entire time. It was fun to watch. It's now, as you can tell, some action is beginning to occur over here, and it is time for us to begin to recognize the graduates. Before we start, though, I want the attention of the graduates because Scott and I are going to attempt to provide a little bit of information for the grads so they don't get confused as to what to do on stage, because everybody gets a little frightened. So for those of you in the audience, just bear with us as we talk just to the students. What's that? Yeah. Okay. So the process that we follow as you're coming up to the stage is, and Scott will be a student, and I will be a dean who's standing here calling out names and so on and directing traffic. And Scott, he will be one of our goofier students, there's no question, <laughs> but he'll come and bring me his card. And on the card is written his name and his program. And I will say, Scott Harris. Now you'll notice that Scott is standing where he is. There's a white square on the stage. That's where you go right after you've given the dean your card, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, they've got it. Then once uh, uh, we have the president and the board chair up over where Scott is now, they'll be there to shake your hands and uh, give you your credential document. <laughs> Scott will receive that 
and then he'll be kind of pushed off the stage. <laughs> so the whole idea is that it's kind of a flow through and we'll be up here if there are any questions or confusion that occur and we'll gently nudge you in whichever direction you need to go, but you have a pretty good idea of how it works. Now, while you're standing on this square, um, there will be photographs taken um, that will be posted next week. So you'll be able to look those up and, and uh, so it's a good chance to be sure you're facing out to the audience and uh, giving a good smile. Now, for, um, for family and friends, loved ones, we, we certainly don't mind if when your graduate is about to come up on stage, if you come up to the front so you can get a good picture, just be sure you're not you know, standing right in front of the people ahead of you, you know, drop your knees and, and to keep people with a clear view of what's going on up here. But we do want you to, to be sure you have records of, of your loved ones, the students' uh, experiences here. Um, the graduates are going to be presented by their program and school. Um, we're starting with the School of Arts and Science. Um, and uh, in just a few seconds, I'll ask the Dean to come forward. But I do have one more challenge for you. And that is uh, we judge the uh, family and friends by their ability to express love in the form of noise. So. When you imagine your graduate is coming across the strage, stage, what's a strage? <laughs> um, I'd like to hear from all of you as to the best possible noise you can create for these lovely people. So let's take it away. <laughs> noise! <laughs> So we expect a bit of that love as the graduates cross the stage. Now, it is my very great pleasure to invite Debbie Lady, Dean of the Camosun College School of Arts and Science, to come forward and present the graduates of the school. Take it away, Debbie. Thank you, John. It's my honor and my privilege and my pleasure to present the 2023 graduates for the Camosun College School of Arts and Science. On behalf of the entire school, all of your instructors, all of our dedicated staff members, I want to offer you my warmest congratulations on graduating as the class of 23. Arts and Science offers courses in approximately 35 different subject areas and all of them have helped prepare you to face the world, armed with a skill set that helps you to think critically, ask good questions, problem solve to find the answers to those questions, and to respect the viewpoints of others. Regardless of whether you studied art or astronomy, chemistry or creative writing, music or mathematics, your education will serve you well as you go on to further study, to a career, or to your role as an informed and caring member of the community. Congratulations on your graduation. You are a member of our Camosun community and you are always welcome here. It is now my great pleasure to introduce you to our graduates. First graduate has a certificate in archeological field assistant. Taylor Christine Schildroth. <laughs> Our next graduates have a certificate in comics and graphic novels. Asha Rihanna Barnard. Ethan Graham Black. Aaron Jones. Alex Rudzik. Okay. 
Our next graduate has a certificate in digital communication, Asma. Next, we have graduates in the Certificate in Digital Production, Writing, and Design. <laughs> Nami Hirose. <laughs> Our next graduates have a Certificate in Engineering Transfer, First Year Engineering. Zaki Zubair Ali. <laughs> Next, we have our graduates with a diploma in applied chemistry and biotechnology. Yay! <laughs> Gabriela Amor Gonzalez. Well done. Banipreet Ban. <laughs> Sara Naomi Escalona Martinez. Sahari Avila. <laughs> Matias Alarcon Gomez. <laughs> Nicholas Elian Maya. Ryan Mitchell Moss. <laughs> Marina Pomeranska. Valentina Beltran Wakeneth. <laughs> Guillermo Escuredo Anguera de Soya. <laughs> Next, we will have our graduates with a diploma in arts and science studies. Abhishek Abhishek. Arjun Bhatia. Pavali Bala. Tanya Marine Monique de Boer. Yukti Chowdhury. Harjinder Singh Dillon. Edna Ellsworth. <laughs> Karen Deep Singh Gill.
Kotoni Gondaira. Dakota McCray Jones. Jennifer Jones. And her cheering section. Jazpreet Singh Kang. <laughs> Rupinder Kaur. Arshnur Kaur. Simran Kaur. Parnit Kaur. Amrit Kaur. Harmeet Kaur. Simranjit Kaur. Prince Kumar. Derek Morganson. Michael Meng. Okay. Kazuha Mizukoshi. Grace D. Odongo. Sanyogita, Sanyogita. <laughs> Ryland Kenneth Owens. Emma Poole. <laughs> Shivam Saini. Kartik Shandila. Yeah. 
Simran. Jimena Mercado Tirado. Natalia Yukie Gordillo Nakata. <laughs> Natalie Rivera. Gershir Singh. <laughs> Jashandeep Singh. Jagjit Singh. <laughs> Paramvir Singh. Love Preet Singh. Okay. Love Preet Singh. Ritik Goyal. <laughs> Mamta Rani. Vaishali. <laughs> Hu Ching Young. Our next graduates are receiving the Diploma in Criminal Justice. Liam Dawson Adair. Nicole Isabella Alpos. Jaden Amis Luce. Giovanna Novara Vieira Pinto Coelho. <laughs> Jess Connolly. Caitlin Yvonne Donate. <laughs> Lucy, 
Matthew James DeFrias. Josie Garrett. Brianna Bello Gruber. Deek Goo. Patrick Denis Hedgy. <laughs> Luke Joseph Anton Kedvis. Kateen Sean Arthur Lyon. <laughs> Alexa Rachel Morganson. <laughs> Kyle Robert Morgan. Haley Pomponio. <laughs> Maggie Elizabeth Swan. <laughs> Aaron Edward Francis Watt. <laughs> Georgia Hanley. <laughs> Yvonne Heng. <laughs> Our next graduates are receiving a diploma in environmental technology. Albany Joan Gallant. <laughs> and as well as just receiving a diploma in environmental technology, these graduates have a co-op education option. Roxanne Marie Cameron. This is the Diploma in Environmental Technology Internship option. Amanda Ray Garner. Okay. Next up, we have graduates with a Diploma in Visual Art. Selena Evelyn Bortolotto. Saul Thomas von Everdingen. <laughs> Hyun Kim. <laughs> Abby von Ort.
AJ Twin. Next, we have graduates with an Associate of Arts degree in Economics. Yasmin Kaur Kuber. Camila Suyai Colcas Velasquez. Our next graduates are receiving a diploma in music. Sarah Caroline Chapesky. Shelby Ann Hewitt. <laughs> Christina Ann Hillgartner. Connor Robert Wellman. Our next graduates will receive an Associate of Arts degree in English. Ashley Ann Pfeiffer. Next up are our Associate of Arts Award general graduates. Glynis Moira Coxon Miller. <laughs> Christine Louise Flamant. Caitlin Lee McCandless. <laughs> Next, we have our Associate of Arts Diploma in Pre-Social Work graduates. Heather Elizabeth Adams. Megan Boynton. Sarah Broad. Matthew John Hicks. Alicia Kunumel. <laughs> Carmen Eve McGrath. <laughs> okay. 
Neela Sky McLachlan. Catherine Jane Ross. Emily Elizabeth Orin Russell. Our next graduates will receive an Associate of Arts degree in psychology, diploma in psychology. Arisa Arnaz. Tyler Joseph Ciccarelli. Kendra Ashley Coburn. Christina Elena Teresa Hall. <laughs> Danilu Humaniuk. Anna Rose Moll. <laughs> Jacob Connor Pereira. <laughs> Hyunam Fan. Rebecca Ann Sela. <laughs> Taran Preet Singh. I <laughs> <laughs> was enthusiastic. Chen Ching Wang. Our next graduates will receive an Associate of Science Diploma in Biology. Esteban Perez Andresen. Jesse Koshie Nadie Nikoi. <laughs> Nabella Nuri Mohammed Sadiq. <laughs> okay. 
Rashu Gera. Our next graduates will be receiving an Associate of Science Diploma in General Science. Cameron Joseph Damour. Aishwarya Pungat Praladahan. Talia Dean Whitehouse. I would like to thank our musicians. <laughs> and now members of the Dias Party, distinguished guests, honored faculty and staff, graduates, the School of Arts and Science graduates class of 2023. Rather a fine looking lot of graduates, I would say. Congratulations. I'm very pleased now to ask Eric Sain, the Dean of the School of Trades and Technology, to come forward to present the graduates of his school. Thanks, Eric. Thank you, John. Uh, I'm honored to be here to celebrate the accomplishments of the School of Trades and Technology graduating class of 2023. And I want to first say thank you to the graduates. Thank you for choosing Camosun College and giving us the opportunity to stand beside you, to guide you and support you on your journey of learning. Thank you for your commitment and for your effort. And today is clear evidence that those efforts have been fruitful. I also want to thank the faculty and staff who have walked with you on this journey and whose dedication, creativity, expertise, and passion have made all the difference. I love convocation. You know, it, it helps us to remember in, in such a personal way the reason why we do the work that we do. This is actually my 25th year working in post-secondary. I know that sounds like a long time, <laughs> and it is. And uh, yeah, but I, I, when did I get so old, you know? Uh, but you know what doesn't get old? This wonderful celebration of life-changing learning. It's absolutely uplifting to witness. I want to finish by telling you a short story about one of the graduates who you'll meet today. His name is Dakota. And I met Dakota during his first week in the civil engineering program. And throughout the year, Dakota and I had an opportunity to, to talk with one another. I got to check in with him, see how he's doing, how he was enjoying the program. And it was during his first year uh, that I said to him, you know what, I really can't wait to see you walk across that stage at Convocation. Today is that day. And I couldn't be happier for him and for the grads. And uh, it absolutely fills my heart with gratitude. This is what it's all about. And uh, so let's get to the part that we've been all waiting for. Now, I do want to say one thing. Those arts and science folks, you did an amazing job. There was some great noise going on there. I, I learned something new today, too. I've heard people say, way to go, mom. Right on, dad. How to go, son. Nice job, daughter. Right on, grandpa. Today I heard, happy birthday, bro. That was a good one. I like that. I'm going to add that to my list. So without any further ado, let's start uh, celebrating our grads of trades and technology. In a certificate, 
in uh, professional cook, Savannah McKinnon. Josh Olivieros. <laughs> Certificate in Interactive Media Developer Technician, Margarita Kahn. <laughs> Nicole Moreno. Midoro Okada. We're now moving on to Diploma Civil Engineering Technology. Devin Cameron. Got a little traffic jam going on. Pablo Castillo Navas. <laughs> Ann Chung. <laughs> this is the guy I was talking about. Dakota White Thunder Diablo. <laughs> Noemi Gabriela Espinosa Martinez. Geronimo. Geronimo. Geronimo Gil Ortiz. Cheer, <laughs> Daddy. Cheer, Daddy. Anthony Giardetti. <laughs> Roger William Gritzmacher. Rex Han. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Newman. Raquel Noguera de Castro. <laughs> Alan Resende Pereira.
Rodrigo Souza Ramalo. Pak Shin Tam Pako. Pak Shin Tam Pako. Yes. Okay, very Gabrielle Jean Edward Vixamar. Well, I get there. Yeah. I've been practicing this one. Thavindu Dilshan Wellagadera. <laughs> Santiago Yori. Next, we're going to be going to Diploma in Interactive Media Developer Technology, Luis Espinoza. Chris Goldhammer. Lorena Beatrice Para Moreles. Next, we have the Diploma in Information and Computer Systems Technology, David Abram Chrismer. Willem Bard. Austin Bicknell. Jeremy Carter. Hazel Chu. Aaron Dragusha. James Richard Green. Spencer Ignatascu. Next is a Diploma of Information and Computer Systems Technology Cooperative Education Designation. Alexander Dietrich Benjamin Jansen. Okay. Diploma in Information and Computer Systems Technology. Shane Jones. You got the hat to work. Okay. Come on. Maron Maressa. Well 
Eric Tayan. Next, we're going to move to the Diploma of Mechanical Engineering Technology. Dylan Bradbury. Samuel David Bradshaw. Justin Davies. Adam Kyle Holroyd. Pepper Janua Tanavit. <laughs> Kaylin Jack Roy Miller. <laughs> Dawson Mork. Certificate in Information and Computer Systems Technician, Alexander R. Nairn. Okay. Back to uh, Diploma in Mechanical Engineering Technology Co-op Education Designation, Ethan Hendrick Newman Rutledge. Diploma in Mechanical Engineering Technology, Frederick Christopher Robert Shepherd. We're now moving into the Diploma of Electronics and Computer Engineering Technology, Renewable Energy, Wakana Tomita. This is a uh, Diploma in Electronics and Computer Engineering Technology with an uh, internship designation, Hang Shi. We're now moving to a Diploma in Electronics and Computer Engineering Technology with a co-op designation. It is Alexander Gordon Kluda. Walter Parsons in electrical engineering. Oh. Oh. Well, Walter is in the electrical engineering technology marine and industrial co-op education designation. Oh. And our last but not least, oh man, I know this guy. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Advanced diploma in civil engineering bridge to University of British Columbia, it's not his first time here, but we're always so happy to see him, Dana Garrett Simpson. Now, members of the Dais Party, distinguished guests, honored faculty, Camosun staff, 
and graduates, may I present to you the graduating class of 2023. Thank you, Eric, and congratulations to the graduates of the School of Trades and Technology. Our ceremony has just a few more elements left, but we are coming near to a close. We wanted to take the opportunity to share with you some of the experiences of students from the other schools that were not at today's ceremony. So we have a, a short video. Uh, my initial worries before enrolling were definitely my age going into the trades. I was worried that if I shift to Canada into a new country, if I would be able to make new friends, if I would be able to get along with new people or like connect or network with more people, that was my major concern. Just trying to find the balance between work and school and trying to make sure that I could do the workload while getting the best grades possible. I remember being very nervous on my first day of the campus, but I was also low-key excited to explore what Temosin had to offer. Uh, how am I going to balance the full-time schooling and being a full-time parent? Because I didn't grow up with my culture or my family, I wasn't sure that I would be accepted in the program, Indigenous Studies. I was worried that the classes were going to be too big and I wouldn't have the opportunity to connect with instructors or advisors. I learned one of the biggest things was that asking for help and leaning on others is not a sign of weakness and working with each other, you can gain so much knowledge and confidence. I can persevere through tough times, I can overcome challenges. I've learned that I don't quit and I stay resilient. I really learned how to walk with Aishkwalawan, which is good mind, good heart and good spirit. When you're here in college, just don't be shy and just go and just talk to random people. It's like the best way to connect and network with people from all around the globe. All the instructors that I worked with along the way, they are all very much legitimately just wanting you to succeed. And it's, it's very refreshing. I made jokes during presentations and um, nobody laughed. Some of my proudest moments at Camosin were realizing that Asking for help and working along um, my colleagues and the instructors, I was able to get some of the best marks that I've ever had in my schooling career. Completing this program, going through this program, um, taking on such a big challenge and maintaining good grades and uh, also raising a family. For my group assignment, we raised uh, more than 1,100 in sales, and then these funds were used to send a student in Nepal to school for like two more semesters, and that was like my proudest moment here at Kamosin. I had to write an essay, and it ended up getting published in Beside the Point. And then just in my fourth year, I had one of my projects got taken so that they can put it up and use it for, again, future classes as a demonstrati demonstration on how to do it. I'm leaving this Kamosin with so many gifts. Um, I've learned about my culture, learned the meaning of community. I have a sense of belonging, and I'm proud of who I am today. I have friends from Japan, China, Nigeria, Colombia, Mexico, Argentina. My goal one day is to make all Indigenous film with cast and crew. It's all Indigenous. And my plans um, when I graduate are to take some time off and to rest and travel a little bit and then just be excited to start my new career as a CDA. I am looking forward to applying the skills and uh, the knowledge that we've learned through the program. I am hoping to advance in my, uh, advance my education as well and just see where it takes me. I'd like to give back to the community and I'd like to work with elders or Indigenous people like me who are thinking about going back to school. To en enhance my project management skills and eventually start off with my own project management consultancy here in Canada. And look forward to explore the industry.
everybody wants to start their own company, but I don't know whether that's necessarily going to be my route, whether I want to be foreman and essentially just take over the world one, one company at a time. <laughs> No matter where I go, whatever I do, no matter where I be, I will always belong here. I belong here at Kamosin. I will always belong here. Belong here. Belong here. Always belong here. I will always belong here. Just a few more amazing students that we feel nothing but pride for the work you've done. We're coming cl to cl close to closing today, and I just want to remind everyone that we do have refreshments just outside these doors, in the tent outside. And um, just for people who want to take pictures after the ceremony's over, once we've cleared the stage, you're welcome to use the stage for photos if you'd like. And now we have a few things to do with the students. Uh, graduates, the moment has arrived where you can transfer the tassel on your cap from right to left and take a moment to reflect on the achievements you're marking today. Congratulations to each of you. We wish you nothing but the very best. Now I would like to ask the faculty members on the dais to stand so that we can take a minute as, as students and the rest of us to just thank the faculty for their great work, their, their, their commitment to getting students through to success and helping you find and reach your dreams. So could you stand and we're going to give you an applause. We tend to believe that we have the best faculty in the planet, so it's good to be working with you guys. Now, the last thing we're going to do is a lot of noise and innovation for our students. So on the count of three, we're going to have the chance for the audience to make noise, but the students then at the count of three to toss your caps. So you guys have a chance to catch things on your cameras if you wish. Um, and honestly, we'll help you find your cap afterwards as well. So let's get ready to make some noise and take some pictures. And on the count of three, one, two, three.
Turn it up.
passion for flashing before I had it. I closed my eyes and imagined the good life. Better than the life I lived when I thought that I was gonna go crazy. And now my grandma ain't the only girl calling me baby. And if you feeling me now, then put your hands up in the sky and let me hear you say.
dope shit like that, Jerem. Oh, hi. Welcome back to kids. Um, follow your dreams. Yeah. Wanna get a mansion, a jacuzzi, a theater to watch my movies, couple whips and lots of fancy things. The kids they call the Goonies. Goonies. I see the future, crystal ball, mirror, mirror hanging on the wall. Who the fly, white boy, you the mall? Got your girlfriend screening all the calls. She bubbling, we fucking and you cuddling. Like baby, where the fuck you been? I wanna tell you she in love with him. So, so we ain't saying nothing. You could probably tell she bluffing, cause she kissed you with the mouth. She gave me head with my kid. Yeah, she blushing, all red, wanna rush and go to bed You interrogate that bitch like you the fed So she says she in love with a rock star, rock star Wanna smoke my weed, so she asked me where the top saw, top saw Top draw <laughs> Yeah Motherfucking kids. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, buddy, for bitches. <laughs> yeah, Pittsburgh. Hey, John, hey, these toes is drunk. Wanna come and smoke this blunt? Then let me take them home and do anything I want. I said, baby, I can ride ya. Just let me get inside ya. I can take you higher if you hit this vaporizer. I got that dope dick. I be a supplier. You grabbing all my sheets and hitting notes like you Mariah. Obsessed with me. Undress a freak on ecstasy. I'm out and then she texts me like, what you doing? Next week, next week. Hear me now. I'm down on knees and praying no my faith is weak. Without you, so please, baby, please give us a chance. Make amends and I will stand up to the end. A million times, a trillion times. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I just want to inform y'all. I'm drunk as fuck. Most dope, bitch. What's up? I'm a ass fucking deserve. I uh, graduate. Oh yeah, I just graduated high school. Ha ha! Hey homie, don't be mad at your girl. I don't cut anything yet. It's not my fault. Yeah, I'm just doing me. <laughs> if a girl love me, let her love me. You feel me? So baby. Stay there. 